Today's video, I'm going to talk about a pretty personal matter involving fly fishing. Um, my daughter is 12 years old. She is absolutely ate up with fly fishing. It's awesome. It's the greatest thing ever. So I go, I take my daughter fishing with me and we live in Oklahoma. So they stock the trout here in the wintertime. Well, last week we had a really bad cold spell. I mean, it got really cold. Wind chills of nine below for our part of the world. That's pretty cold for us. So the water's pretty icy and, and the place that I fish at, it's, we park and it's a, probably a mile and a half to two mile walk to get in there one way. <clears throat> so we get down there and we go fishing and my daughter uses her waiting staff, you know, as she should to make sure of where she's walking and she slips and fills her waders up um, with ice cold water a mile and a half from the pickup. Um, we weren't prepared. Um, I get her up on the, the bank and she's not really wanting to even admit what's going on because she still wants to go fishing. But she starts shivering um, uncontrollably, first signs of hypothermia. So I get her and I get her clothes stripped down to to dry and then I, I take off a layer of mine and I get her some dry clothes, give her my jacket and we trek back to the pickup. Everything's okay. She was good. We warmed her up, dried her up, and she went fishing later that afternoon. She's a, she's a rock star. So anyhow, with that said, I want to explain a couple things that took place. First and foremost, if you're going to take your kids fishing, um, if you're going to let your kids play basketball or baseball or any of those kinds of things, you know, you're going to get them good shoes. You're going to get them quality shoes, you know, Nike, Reebok, Under Armour, whatever the popular thing is now. You know, if you're playing softball, they're getting the name brand gloves and, and cleats and stuff. And fishing is no different, except fishing is just, you're out in nature, and nature can be pretty ruthless at times. So make sure your kids have what they're equipped for. Um, my daughter has a nice pair of felt sole boots. They're legal in Oklahoma. We only use them in the certain waters that we fish in. But she forgot them, so we ran, and instead of me getting her a good pair of boots, I just got her a cheap pair of wading boots from Academy. Um, they were made for fishing the flat, so they're real aggressive, like rubber tread, not worth a crap for walking on wet waterfalls with, with slime, so she slips. So, this is her wading staff that she had, and you can see it's got just a little metal tip end, and this is how, how she had it. So, as she starts to fall down, she stabs this thing to the ground. It breaks free. doesn't stay like it ought to. And this tip just slides right down the rocks and face plants her. So, with that said, I'm going to show you guys something that I think everybody should have. I feel like a, a pretty horrible dad at the moment. Um, accidents happen, but you know, you don't cut your kids short. You want them to have the best adventure you possibly can when you start them out in this business. You know, if they're going to go fishing, get them the best rod you can, get them proper safety equipment. And I, I'm telling you, wading staffs and wading shoes are safety equipment. Make sure they have something that's safe. If it's not good enough for you, it's, it's, they shouldn't be wearing it. Like they need to have as good or better than you have. Make it a pleasant experience. So they go back out there and do it. So with that said, I have what I feel is the most awesome waiting staff ever. And I'm going to show you guys how I, what I did to, to make mine, and I think everybody should have one. So, mine is a wooden stick. And it is the prettiest wooden stick ever. You can see the bottom. I've got a lanyard that I have woven onto it with some paracord. And this is 18 inches. So I have an 18 inch long part here and you kind of need to try it for yourself and I put a loop on the end and my waders have a belt on them that I carry my net on and it has a carabiner hanging off of it where I hook my staff to it so when I'm walking this has enough room to where I can hold it up and it keeps onto my belt so I'll never have to let it go the cool thing about it is if I have my hands full and I need to let it go I can drag it and it'll just drag along the bottom most important part of this thing is the bottom and you can see that bad boy is war I, I know in just the last month I've probably put a good 50 50 miles on it and all that is is I went to Walgreens and I bought the bottom for a cane you buy a little package of these they were like eight bucks you need this this is the greatest thing ever I have seen a lot of guys who have a wooden walking staff and it it hits it, it doesn't stick you know they, they just struggle another thing I like the wood First and foremost, I'm a damn fly tire, so if I'm going to fly fish and, and do stuff like that, I like making stuff. So I like, I made mine, and mine is made out of a piece of diamond willow from my family's farm in North Dakota. It's a nature, uh, natural, you know, thing that grows there. It doesn't grow hardly anywhere else, so I thought it was kind of cool. But when I'm fishing, this thing floats. 
So if I'm fishing and I'm done with my staff, all I gotta do is push it behind me, out of my way where my fly line's not catching it, and it just floats in the water behind me. It's not sinking. If it, if it came loose, it's just gonna float, but it stays attached to my belt all the time, and then I can easily grab it. I'm not having to get wet. I don't have to stab it into the ground. I don't have to worry about that. So if I'm fishing in a rocky area where I can't stab it to the ground, it's not clanking on things and scaring the fish. It floats in the water. It is tall enough. When I'm walking at shoulder height, you want a tall staff. Um, you know, and if you want to fish like a wizard, I guess it doesn't hurt to look like a wizard, you know, so, but everybody, you need to take this serious. If you do not have a good walking staff, you need to make you one. Um, you can buy different ones and stuff, but man, I think get you, get you a cool stick, make you one. And I use spar urethane on mine. I just coated the living crap out of it. Spar urethane is UV protectant, so you don't have to worry about it. And it, this thing is the, it's a lifesaver. I have bad knees. I've had five surgeries on one of my knees, and I, I use this thing very, very often. Uh, every time I go fishing, um, whether I'm on dry land or on water, I take this thing with me. It, it just gives my legs a break. It gives me a way to feel around and check holes, a stability. Again, it floats. It's out of the way. And if you're taking your kids fishing, you need to make sure they have a good one. Don't buy these cheap ones like I just showed you earlier. Um, I could have lost my daughter if circumstances would have been different. You know, if it would have been just a, a few more minutes or a little bit colder. Or, you know, there's just a lot of things that could have took place. So you need to be prepared for those things. And, you know, make sure your kids have some good shoes that are for the environment that they're fishing in. If they're fishing where there's a lot of moss, get them some shoes. I like felt, and I know there's a lot of people who don't. There's a lot of states who don't allow it. So get, you know, the, the replacement of felt. You know, don't just put your kids in some cheap shoes or something to see if they like it. Because their first experience could be terrible and they may never want to go again. And you're cheating your kid out of a lifetime of love and passion for something that's, there's no, nothing greater than the outdoors with fly fishing. So, make your kids a staff. Make yourself a staff. I don't know if you can get one that looks as cool as mine. In my personal opinion, I love my staff. But anyhow, get you guys a wizard stick and go out there and catch some fish. So, I hope this gives you guys some pointers on something that I feel is very important. Um, this isn't me just talking. You can see the tears in my eyes. This was a, a very sad experience in my family. Um, it turned out okay. We laughed about it on the way back. Everything was good, and she took it like a champ. But it could have been a lot different, and it could have been prevented also. So a little bit of prevention goes a long way. So you guys be safe out there. Happy New Year, and I hope you guys catch a bunch of fish. I will be tying some flies later on today and post another video up. So anyhow, appreciate you guys. I appreciate the, the feedback we've gotten. My books are taking off again. So I, I really I can't thank you guys enough for all the support that you guys have given me over the years. So anyhow, good luck fishing this year, and Happy New Year.